Hey guys, welcome back. Now in this lecture, we'll be designing our index page. That is our home page. Basically, there are different design or different templates that we can follow. We can also download different templates for our website before starting off any project or even during the working of project. Now before starting this lecture, I need to tell you that this lecture is totally dependent on bootstrap. We are not going to do anything with Django for this lecture. That means we'll be understanding how to utilize bootstrap well as a backend developer and how to create sample pages with the help of bootstrap that would be really useful as a backend developer. Now let us start our work and visualize our design. So there are different design in my mind at this point of time. I can take three images on the top and then we will have some tagline after that and then we will have a button. Let us get back to our editor and currently we are just printing this sample index text. Here the first thing I should change is my background. So currently we have white background. I would prefer some light gray background for all my pages. So if you talk about about us, contact us, to do list or home page, I would prefer a bit of light gray. Let us search our background color. As I said, if there is something that you want to do with your design, I would prefer to search on bootstrap that will solve your problem as a fresh backend developer. This one looks fine. All you have to do is copy this one and with your body tag on your base template, just add a new class with our body. If I refresh my page now, I hope you can see the difference with color. Here you can also utilize other color. Let me test this one. So that's how you can use different background. Go back to my light one. Yep, light gray is fine. Now the next task we need to do is we need to add a row and then divide that row into three columns so we can add three images. For images, I would suggest you to visit Unsplash. It's a free site. So all you have to do is search what type of image you need and you can download that and utilize that for free. Since I need image that is related to notes, tasks, some notepad, I would be preferring something related to that. And if you scroll down, you will get high quality images and you can utilize them for free. I have already downloaded an image and we will be utilizing that. So here is our image and I have called it as sticky notes. Now let me get inside my container. Here we need to create a row and then we need to add three columns. So that's easy. Just call a new div and use class as row. Now we have actually created a new row. Now this row need to be divided into three parts. And if you want to understand more regarding this, just jump onto your layout and visit grid section that will solve all your problems. Now if you want to divide into three parts, this is the result that we are getting. And if you want to divide them with the help of 12 screen parts, it would be 444 four, four, and that would be quite fine. I would recommend you to just scroll down this page and learn more about bootstrap that is quite easy with this documentation. Here with the column, you might see terms like SM or LG. These type of terms are for screen size. So if I talk about LG, it is for large screen. If I talk about SM, it is for small screen. So I would be using LG and then I would be dividing them with the help of four. Here, all we have to do is create three div class, use our class as column LG and then divideation of screen that is four. Now we are ready to rock and roll. Now we have our three columns. I just need to add a IMG tag to add my image. So all you have to do is just add a IMG tag and then here we need to pass the source of our image. So for that we can use static and then use images slash our image name. That would be quite easy. We have done the same step while using our logo. Let me also pass an alternative name. This looks fine. Now don't forget to load your static tag. That means you cannot utilize this static unless you load at the top of your page. So all you have to do is just load your static tag. Once that is done, we are in good shape to utilize our image. Let me copy this one and add to all three columns and see out my result. 
this looks terrible because we are not resizing our image let me resize my image all i have to do is just use my width and height command let me check current size of my image it's 750 by 500 so i think it would be good to go with a ratio of 360 by 250 let me try this one and let me refresh my page yep this looks fine but we also need to add a margin over our row so all we have to do is just utilize our bootstrap class Remember for margin we need to use command M and then for top margin it is T, for bottom margin it is B, for left and right it is L or R. So I need to add margin to the top so it would be MT and then your pixels. So let us try with 5 pixel. This looks perfect for our top row. Now I will be working with our next row in which we need to add some font that might be our tagline. And then we need to add some button let us start working on our new row just create a div and use your class as row now let me add some sample text that would be of two or three lines i would be utilizing my paragraph let me refresh my page now these are currently all in a single line and also there is no gap between our images and our text let me add margin top again refresh this one let me start planning them according to our design that we have in mind firstly let me talk about typology so all you have to do is jump with your content and click on typology here you will get different option to make our text look better so in the next lecture let us talk about this and start working on our next row. So here we will be improving this text and add a button at the end. I hope this lecture was helpful and now you can understand regarding bootstrap in much better way. The next thing we need to do is we need to fix the alignment of our text at this point of time. So I would be taking something related to our grid so we can arrange everything into center that means we will be keep all the content of this row into center. And we will be leaving space on the right as well as on the left. So that means we need to talk more about grid. At this point of time, I am utilizing my paragraph tag to display these three lines of content. If I jump onto my grid, here we will be seeing some different layout of columns. Let me scroll down a bit and see which one will be perfect for us. Now this offset class would be fine. If you look at this one, this is exactly our need. All the content that we want to display on our page would be at the middle and we need to leave space at the right and at the left. Let me copy this third class and we just need to add that inside our row. Let me refresh my page. Here you can see we have bit more organized section. Now the next thing I want to do with my paragraph is to align them at center and change the text size. I want the font size should be a bit bigger and we might also need to talk about something related to margin. Let me quickly add center tag to all my three paragraph. And then I need to add class for my paragraph. I would be adding h1 at this point of time for all three. And let us see what result we are going to get. Let me refresh this one. They are actually not looking fine as per my requirement. We need to fix our offset class at this point of time. We are currently taking space of 3, 6 and 3. I should change it to 1, 10 and 1. I also think I should change the font size and make it as h2 and this one should be h5. This one looks much better than our previous result. Now I just need to do one simple quick thing. I also need to add a button. So all you have to do is just jump onto your bootstrap 
सर्च अबाउट द लार्ज बटन एंड जस्ट कॉपी दिस कोड एंड हेयर आई जस्ट नीड टू एड इट बिलो माई लास्ट टेक्स्ट एंड आई ऑल्सो नीड टू अलाइन दिस बटन एट सेंटर वंस दैट इज डन लेट मी रिफ्रेश दिस वन ओके दिस लुक्स फाइन आई नीड टू चेंज टेक्स्ट आई ऑल्सो नीड टू एड अ हाइपर लिंक एंड आई ऑल्सो नीड टू एड समार्जिन सो विद माई बटन क्लास लेट मी एड मार्जिन मे बी थ्री दिस लुक्स फाइन आई ऑल्सो नीड टू एड हाइपर लिंक एंड चेंज दिस टेक्स्ट लेट मी रिप्लेस दिस टेक्स विद लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड एंड हेयर आई सिंपली नीड टू एड माई एच रेफ टैग एंड ऑल्सो क्लोज माई ए टैग and here i simply need to add my dynamic link that is my dynamic url which would be redirected towards our to do list page so just copy this one yeah this looks fine now there are few more changes that i would like to implement maybe adding some rounding to this image also maybe adding some shadow to my images as well as my button also maybe changing the font color so let us implement them really quickly so we don't waste time and we also understand these concept this is completely related to bootstrap and has nothing to do with django so all you have to do is just jump onto your bootstrap so here let me search about rounded you will find something related with our borders you just need to check your requirement i think this one would be fine for us let me copy this one and just jump on to my img tag and here i just need to add a class and inside this class let me paste this one once that is done i also think i should add shadow so just jump on to your bootstrap search about shadow and you might see several option let me choose this one i think this one would be fine so let me copy this one let me also add that here jump back to my home page i hope you can now see the difference let me also try this one yep this one is also fine you can decide whichever you like one thing i need to do i also need to add shadow to this button uh, let me quickly do that yep that's fine to be true with the shadow i like the previous one better for my images but the second one is better for my button now to be true we can do lot more thing with our bootstrap but let me finalize this and add a margin between these two and change the color of this font so that would end our section with a decent looking page jump on to your editor and here with this class all you have to do is add margin 3 if i refresh this one yep this is better and here i just need to change the color let me search that on my bootstrap i would prefer this primary color let me refresh this one and here you can actually see the difference you can also replace these two images according to your requirement i think this is a decent page for our application our last changes remaining which is our favicon so all you have to do is just jump on to your base class because this favicon is present on all the pages if you talk about your to do list about us page home page this favicon is available on all pages So all you have to do is just jump on to your base class and paste this code. Remember to paste it near your title. And here we need to give location of our image. Let me add that image inside my images folder. You can download that from resource section. Here all you have to do is just provide the path with static. So I would be copying this one. and instead of our logo.png i need to pass favicon.ico remember all the favicons are in the format of ico if i save this one 
jump back to my browser and refresh my page yep this looks fine and now we have our favicon our home page is ready our to-do list page is ready and we are good to go to do anything with our application so this is how a backend developer completes its application i know at this point of time we are not dealing very high with front end but all the back end codes we have done very well there are a lot more things that you can do i think this design is sufficient as a back end developer i hope this design looks nice thank you for following this lecture see you in the next one